God bless you. How are you today? I hope you are blessed, and so am I. Um, my, I was reading again, you know, in the Bible, as I do my daily reading, and this verse, the scripture verse, just you know, pounded my heart, and it, it's taken from Proverbs twenty four, um, seventeen. Yes, Proverbs twenty four seventeen, and it's saying, "Rejoice not when thine enemy fall it." And let not thy heart be glad when he stumble it. You know, and I believe that the scripture is telling us plain right there that, you know, when your enemies do things towards you and, you know, that's not good. And they're fighting against you. And when something bad happens to them, you rejoice and say, yes, it's good for them because, you know, they caused me trouble. So now they're in trouble, you know, and you're happy. God, the, the scripture is plainly telling us, don't rejoice. Don't rejoice when those things happen to your enemies, you know. Rather pray for them, you know. Pray that their heart will, you know, turn from their wicked ways while they're in that trouble. And to receive God, you know, humble themselves. Pray that they will humble themselves and turn away from those wicked things that they do. So they, they can receive salvation, you know. Don't rejoice. God said, let not your heart be glad. And in your heart, don't be glad and say, oh, well, I'm not going to rejoice. But in your heart, you're, you're so happy. You're like, yes, no, don't do that. You know, pray for your enemies. You know, let them, yes, they're going to cause you trouble. Yes, you know, you don't, you feel discomfort because, of course, trouble is not good. You don't feel that. You don't, you, you don't feel happy when you go through that, you know. But at the same time, vengeance is God's. You know, vengeance is the Lord's. It's not yours. Don't side with Satan by rejoicing because you're just doing, you, you're just siding with him like evil. Yeah, haha. Uh -huh. You understand? You're rejoicing with evil. Don't do that. Vengeance is the Lord's. Let God take care of what he has to take care of. He, he does a good job at it. You just do what you have to do. You know, pray for that person. You know, I pray that their, their salvation will come to them and they will receive God and they will turn away from their wicked ways. But do not rejoice. Do not be glad in heart when you see your enemy stumble or fall. Don't do that. It's not a good thing. The Bible tells us that, you know, he tells us that for a reason because God is going to take away the wrath that he had put upon them. Because of that, because you're rejoicing in with evil, you know, don't do that, all right? And God is a just God. He's a very just God, and he's going to give everybody according to what, you know, they have done. According to their words, he's going to give them, you know, that repayment, you know, that reward, whatever it is, he's going to give them. So why you are worrying about them, don't focus on that. Focus on the Lord. Focus on praying for them. Focus on asking God, you know, to touch their heart in a way that they would just want to run to you, Lord Jesus, and give their life totally to you. So they will turn away from their wicked ways and they will come to you in righteousness and try to live a holy life, a righteous life, pleasing unto God. Okay? So remember, do not rejoice when your enemy stumble or falls. Don't be glad in your heart when they fall either, you know, but pray for them, pray that God will reach their heart, and that they will turn away from their wicked ways, God bless you, in Jesus name, and have a beautiful day.